last weekend, obviously, <coughs> not the weekend you guys wanted, uh, dropping three and four. Just tell me a little bit about what was going on for you guys. What 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 do you think caused that uh, that slump? Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna say uh, definitely just mentally. We weren't there mentally. Physically, we were all capable of being there. We're plenty capable of being there physically, or we wouldn't be here, you know. Um, but mentally, we were not there this weekend. We were making mistakes. I mean, if you look back at the errors, the errors on the board, I mean, there's probably one or two. But in reality, when we're, you think about like the mental errors that we made, there was probably like nine or ten, you know. So those don't show up on the board when you're, you know, you're going, you're looking back at stats. It doesn't look, you don't look at those kind of things because they don't count mental errors. But that's what was happening all weekend was the mental errors, the mental aspect of our game. And I think that, you know, instead of coming back and, like, beating a team that we should have, we kind of just, like, fell back and, like, we were so worried mentally to, like, pick ourselves up that we couldn't pick ourselves up physically either. Uh, what do you think the key is to get to get back on track? What What is it going to take to get you guys back into the right mindset going forward? Um, I think this whole week of practice, having a bye week, I mean, Chico got canceled. We would have played today and tomorrow. Um, but I think this whole week, like, having a week off, um, I mean, never, never having time off is, like, the greatest thing, but to get back to the mechanics, to get back to the basics, you know, to, like I said, not even physically, but to communicate more at practice, to uh, talk about things that we may have messed up on this weekend and how we can, you know, fix that for the next time. I think going back to the basics this week and, like, really, you know, cutting down, like, little by little on what we messed up on, you know, during the uh, San Bernardino series, I think that's what's going to help us bounce back. And especially with starting to get, like, come back and just, like, have a good time at practice, you know, not be so worried and, like, bunched up. And, like, I think this week, having the week off is going to be good for us because uh, we can start over. It's like, what, you know. Sometimes after the season's over and you look back on things, teams will look back on, on moments like this where as almost – as a turning point, um, do you think you guys can capitalize on on this last weekend and and really use that as a wake up call? Well, if you if you always look back at uh, we we talk about this all the time. If you always look back at our our stats or when we lost or you know uh, how we came back from losing by seven in the seventh inning, you know we always say like in the circle we always say we are a comeback team. We can be down by ten. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's the seventh bottom of the seventh and we're down by ten. We're gonna come back. So I think even losing three games this weekend, I don't want to say it means nothing because it is a turning point, but I think uh, I don't think it's going to hinder us any. I think it's going to make us bounce back even harder and come out and it come out to ready to go for this next team we're going to play. Like we're going to Turlock, and it's going to be a big tournament. We're going to see teams that we don't normally see. You know what I mean? So I think this week, like having this off, coming back and playing teams that it aren't in our conference, teams we don't know about, teams we aren't going to be, you know, not even scared to play, but like we don't even know anything about them. Let's go out there and, and, and win. You know what I mean? I think that's our biggest thing is like we always bounce back, always. Like that's our biggest thing is what, like I said, whether we're down by 10 or, while, or rather we lost three games out of a four-game series, we're always going to bounce back. I don't think it's going to hinder us any. Okay, that's all I got. Do you think that – kind of reflecting over, you know, why you guys maybe lost those games. Do you think that it had anything to do with, you know, you guys didn't like the way you finished last season, and you guys really came into the season with a chip on your shoulder, but sometimes, you know, when you have that drive to push you, it can kind of make you stiff a little bit, and you get so focused on, we don't want to be in this position, we want to win it all. Do you think that going forward, you guys kind of had to come to yourselves and say, Yes, we want to win it all, but maybe we were a little too hard on ourselves and we kind of tightened up in areas that we normally don't tighten up. Um, I talked to one of our other seniors because <clears throat> she, she was, we were just having a conversation about this whole weekend because it was like, it like hit home, you know, you're like, oh, we just lost three games, you know, we, we, I, we haven't done that in a while. But four years I've been here, we haven't lost the three, you know, three out of four games. Um, and I think I was talking to her and I said, look, I think what we played like this weekend was we were scared to lose. We were scared to lose games instead of just winning, you know, what, like we usually do. We just go out there and play our game. Like, if you see us warm up, there's teams out there that are like, how do they win? Like, we're playing hacky sack, we're having a good time, like, we hit a couple of balls and we're done, you know? Like, teams come out and they're like, how do they win? You know, I think instead of just playing relaxed and playing like Humboldt style like we usually do, we were so worried about losing that we did tighten up. You're, that's you know like we start we start getting like oh man like okay well we got to do this right we got to do that right and our rankings you know but who cares about their rankings no I mean we talk about this all the time us seniors we know you know like 
we were we started from the bottom last year and then all of a sudden came right back up like the rankings don't mean anything until you're at the end and you are where you are you know what i mean yeah we're first in the nation that's cool it is really cool but like it doesn't mean anything if you can't win a, a conference game and do you think that this experience in a way it, it kind of humbled you guys Definitely. and you know, it, it kind of put things into perspective a little bit because as much as you don't want to get caught up in the rankings, that's a great accomplishment, being number one in the nation for a, for weeks at a time. Do you think that looking back, that this was a good moment that, you know, really helped maybe refocus you guys a little bit? Yeah, um, uh, again, I was talking, we've had this conversation, like me and a couple of the, the seniors, we just, you know, just chatting. And um, I, we were saying, like, I don't want to say it was good that we lost, but to know and to teach the younger girls, because we, we haven't really lost. We lost one game and it was, you know, okay, we, we lost and we, come, we came back and we beat them three games out of four, you know? But I think it taught the younger girls and, you know, the girls that we well, had last year, we had a great year, you know, barely, I think we would lose six, seven games and three of those were in nationals. And I think what, what it taught them was like, we can lose and we're not invincible. And so I think with all that said and done, losing was actually, I don't want to say it was a good thing, but it shows the girls that we aren't always going to win. And it's not always going to be us on top. There are teams that are going to come out and whoop our butts. You know what I mean? But it, all in all, the losses are just going to make us come right back. And I think it teaches the younger girls that we can lose, regardless of whatever, however great we are. Teams lose. You have bad days. You have bad weekends. It's just how it is. Um, okay, so what was the difference? What changed team-wise? The feeling on the team that you guys were so tight this, this tournament? You know, people said, you know, we had people saying it was the heat. We had people saying that we were scared to lose. We had, like I said, back and forth. You know, you can, you can blame it on anything, really. I just really don't think we showed up. I, I think that, honestly, it, was, it wasn't even changing dynamic or anything like that. We did anything different. I don't think we did anything different. I think it was just we just were so scared not scared to lose but we were holding ourselves to a high standard and we just didn't want to lose that high standard you know what I mean and you go out there and you play tense when you don't want to lose you're like don't get don't, don't mess up and, and hit the ball and you got to do this and that and like that last game we played we beat them I, I don't remember I don't even remember scores but uh we we won that last game and like we just played because we just got we just we just lost three times what do you have to lose we started playing like we normally do like what do we have to lose there's nothing to lose it's a game it's not a life and death situation. It's this is a game, and you go out and we play it because we love it and we have fun doing it. And I think that we lost that. We lost that this weekend. We lost that. This is this is for fun. It's not life or death. And I think we kind of really in our heads were thinking like this is more than what it is, and it wasn't. We just got to go out there and play. And we didn't do that this weekend. And so for you personally, when you stepped out on that field, and you know, as an athlete, you get a different feeling. Like you either feel like you're there and killing it, or you're like. Something's like a little off. What did it feel like for you personally? Um, well, I this weekend I felt like I had a good weekend. I made some plays that I, you know, I don't I don't get the ball too often because second base. I mean, a lot of our pitchers are quick and um, and like Maddie, she throws a drop ball, and so a lot of the balls go to the, the left side. I don't get too many balls, but they had a lot of lefties, so I got a, a lot of balls this weekend, and um, I felt good. But like as a unit, I would have to say I have to go as a unit because this weekend I felt good, but like I, as a unit. You step on the field and you're like, why? Well, I don't want to say this. Like, we were playing like a rec ball team, and like, you know, like we just didn't know what we were doing. Like, you throw, you throw the ball around, and you're just like, what is going on? You know, <laughs> you, you call time out, you go to the center, and you're like, guys, like, come on, <laughs> let's do this. Like, these are plays we know how to do. Like a simple bunt, or you know, or a simple ground ball. Like, we were just, I don't even know how to explain it to you honestly, but you know that feeling when you get on the field, like you said, and you're like. I just don't feel it as a unit today, you know, instead of, like, I felt it personally, but as a unit, I didn't feel like we were there, and then that kind of, you, you can't win without the other 23 of you, you know what I mean, we need the people on the bench, we need people in the outfield, we need people in the infield, we need our coaches, you know, like, like I said, we go, you walk out there, and as a unit, we were just not, like, you don't feel that feeling like we're, we're about to win, it was more like, what are we doing? And then from the third game to the fourth game, you already said you had nothing to lose, but was there a coach or a player that kind of shook you guys, you know, shook you guys up, pulled you back out, pulled you back into your mindset? I think this weekend we had the most motivational talks, you know, throughout the three games. I think I said, I think I talked every time in the circle, Maddie, 
uh, be, you know, all of our seniors, they came out, and Tiffany, uh, Reed, Coach Reed, uh, Coach Shelley, like, at the end of the day, you can't pull anybody out of, like, a mental state. You have to be the one to pull yourself out. And I think that was a big problem with us this weekend is that as a individual, we couldn't pull ourselves out and say, get it together. And like anybody can yell at you and say, come on, you can do this. We're capable. Let's do this. You know, like you can have somebody say that all you want, but if you don't have that confidence, if you don't have that, you know, drive, if you don't have that, like, let's do this type attitude and you can't, like I said, like you said, pull yourself out it's not gonna change. I can yell at Maddie all I want while I'm at second base, like, you can do this, let's go. But if she personally can't do it and like can't pull it out from the heart, like I want her to, then it's not gonna work, you know? Some people can only say so much, but until you do it as an individual yourself, it's, I mean, like I said, you, you've gotta do it yourself. You gotta end up finding somewhere in your heart to say like, I'm about to do this right now and nobody can stop me. And we didn't have that this weekend. Last question. You said you're four years here, you haven't lost three games. What was that feeling coming back? Like when it kind of sets in like, we just lost three or four. You know what, last year we ended up getting second in nationals. The last two games were, real, were, were, were bad. The last two games we played scared, like I said, scared to lose. That's what it feels like, is you're scared to lose because you have so much to gain if you win, you know? And you're scared to lose. And so I think losing the three games, it. It makes you nervous, it makes you nervous, but with this team and how much I enjoy this team and, and, and who we have become as a whole, it didn't make me that worried, you know? It sucks to lose three games, it does, it, especially when you haven't in a while, but it, we don't lose anything really, you know? Like maybe a ranking, okay, that doesn't matter, but you don't lose anything because I know we're gonna bounce back and come and do well in Turlock. Like I have that confidence in my team because we're capable. Plenty capable. We just gotta want it. We gotta so have heart. Like that churn feeling. Like, all right, now it's time to like get yeah, back and kill exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Just literally come back and be like, who cares about last week? That's a memory. You know. That's just you. You flush. What we say is we flush it down the toilet. That's what you do. You just gotta flush it down the toilet and like it never happened. You know. You come back and you win these next however many games we play. We play seventy games in a season. That's a lot. Three games, nothing. So. Last question for real. Sorry. No, you're good. Um, do you guys have like a pump up song? Pump up. <laughs> Tradition, ritual. Yeah, we party. <laughs> in the beginning, we start off and we say, like, who's ready to party or whatever. We party before the games, and it, it gets us pumped. Like, So if, if we're not doing well, if you ever, like, come and sit and notice and watch our games, we um, we we start the game off with a, with a big party. We, you know, like, everybody come out. Like, you know, if, if, uh, if your name's not Stephanie because we have our athlete in it, and if, you know, if you're not an athlete, like, you can't be in the dugout. Like, we just mess around. We just have a good time, get ourselves pumped up, you know. But and we, we've done it to where we start off with it, so we get our groove, and, you know, we start going. And then um, if, we, if we feel down, we start to do it again. So we'll do it again in, like, the fifth inning. We'll party again. And, like, so, like, that's our biggest thing is, like, and we always do, like, the Humboldt style type thing, like, that was our big motto last year. Like, we're, we're going to, a lot of our seniors are going to get shirts and, like, put humble style on the back because, like, it was our motto. Like, we do it humble style. Like, nobody does it like we do. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. It's, like, one of the biggest things is to party it up and, like, just have fun. And I think that's our biggest thing, especially playing here. Thanks.